What's up guys? So I got a question from one of our customers is how do you wax your handboard? And so I thought I'd uh, spend a you know a couple minutes and just show you guys how to do it. Um, for a lot of people, it's it's easy. Uh, for some, not so much. So uh, here's a uh, intro on how to uh, wax your handboard. And also use a uh, a grip like this, which we sell. So um, there's also that option if you don't want to bother about uh, you know doing doing wax. I like I like personally like wax because I think it actually really has like kind of a kind of natural feel to it. Um, so about waxes, there's a bunch of different waxes you can get. You can get all water, uh, you can get all the different degrees. Now the reason there are different kinds of waxes is because there's different temperatures of water and so what you don't want to have happen is if you're in uh, really warm water um, the wax can get too, uh, too hard um, if you're using the wrong wax and vice versa in cold water um, it, you know, it kind of gets, gets hard in cold water and, and soft in, in warm water so you just want to be uh, aware of what you're going to surf um, I'm just going to go with, actually this is glow in the dark, it's pretty cool stuff but uh, there's super sticky which is uh, 32 degrees Fahrenheit to 68 so that looks like a good one for what we want now to get rid of uh, to not to get rid of to take off your uh, your strap, two, one of two things you can either use a um, a screwdriver or I can use for the sake of time I do this all the time so uh, you can just quickly take off the screwdriver I mean the <laughs> strap sorry you just unscrew the strap and uh, so you now you got your board right you just want to kind of rub off a little bit of the, you know, it'll be a brand new board so you might want to wipe it off with a cloth first. Um, so then you just take out your your wax. Okay, just tear it open. Actually, you kind of want to keep the box because normally you don't use an entire uh, box of wax. This stuff is like really sticky. Okay, so I guess it says super sticky. So what you want to do is uh, you kind of want to start just slowly putting it on. So your hand will fit right there. So obviously you want it where your where your uh, where your hand is, where your uh, it's like basically on a surfboard where your feet are, um, and so your palm is obviously right there. So you want to kind of really start getting and like just do it lightly at first because what will happen is the the wax will start getting onto the board and then it'll start clumping up and then you start getting um, uh, these little lumps that occur, which is what you want. So you just do it like that and you just keep on doing it until and do crossways um, as well. So go up and down or and then and then do a cross as well like that. So as you can see the the wax is starting like don't worry about that, it'll just keep on doing it. You can see it's starting to form like that, and that's what you want to get. You want to get this, this wax is really sticky stuff which is great for hands, so also just as a side thought as well, when you are doing it, make sure that you use, we're using uh, the surf grass mount which is actually Cowboy's favorite. Uh, place to sit so I stole that from him for the day but uh, yeah you want to basically put it on something soft of course you're going to ruin the bottom of your board if you do so and just keep on keep on doing it so it's the first the stuff is super sticky so the first uh, set of the first bit of wax is actually takes a bit of time to get on and the more you do it so this is what you want to have happen here. I actually think the temperature, even for this, uh, the temperature at the moment, this wax is actually almost melting. So, because it's quite hot in here. Okay. Now, as you can see, it starts. You see how it starts to form and clog up like that. That's what you're looking for. Okay. So sweet. Okay, that's pretty much as much as I would actually say to go on a handboard specifically. But uh, yeah, you can you can uh, you can do it until it actually starts to even form like these lumps. You can see it as it's 
pull them in like that. There's a little bit of extra, but honestly, underneath the strap, you obviously don't need it. The more place you're looking for is right, right by your hands. So, there you go. So, it took a bit. This was probably not the best wax as far as temperature size wax to use, but it's definitely going to work. So, you might get a, a bit of wax in do you think a lot of people don't realize you can actually like this uh, there's two different settings on up for your strap so just choose the strap the setting that you really like it just depends on how far you want your hand down and then you take the strap and just put it straight over the top like that and you're all set so that right there is I mean there's no difference to to, to, to waxing up a handboard as there is to waxing up a surfboard. Now you got a lot of stick right there. Um, again, you can either use that or you can wax the, the, uh, uh, the grip or you can wax up and that's what that looks like and that's how you do that. So, thanks for watching.